<laughs> and then we got Record Store Day coming up. Yeah, and we talked about that enough. And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about today is Record mm -hmm. Store Day. We are. It's right around the corner. It's next weekend. And um, I will tell you that um, I've made a lot of life choices since then. Um, I, I just, I've been studying Record Store Day a little closer. I've been thinking about how it works. I've been looking at the, the Record Store Day site. Um, I've even had some past experience there where um, some things came out of Record Store Day. They were very expensive during Record Store Day, but then I was able to buy them online for considerably cheaper. Yeah. Um, yeah. Elsewhere. So a lot of things to think about on Record Store Day. Um, for those of you who don't know what Record Store Day is, it's uh, held every year around April. There is a uh, record store day that they do for Black Friday. And usually they have a number of really um, interesting releases, um, either of, of folks that you've heard or, or haven't heard uh, of before. So it's a place to give it a give it a whirl. But it tends to be a little expensive, and some of the record stores run it uh, a little odd. You know, um, Todd, one of yeah. the things you said just a few minutes ago was – that, uh, you know, it's almost like patience can be a virtue because sometimes the records are selling for X amount of dollars on record store day. Right. But if you wait a while, it, you can get it at a lower price. Right. It also goes the other way, um, like the, uh, the Jazz Sabbath, right? Uh, if you didn't get that right away, uh, forget it. People are selling it for nutty, nutty, uh, some nutty amounts after record store day. I don't know if that's changed again if it's dropped back down in price, but uh, I know. And it I, depends you know, I, on, it depends on the release. You know, some of them will go up, but a lot of them, and I think most of them will drop a little bit. Patience, you know, patience. Sometimes. Right. And that goes into, you know, there's three types. There's the limited release, regional focus ones. There's RSD first, which means something. Yep. And then there's RSD exclusives. Um, so all something that has to be considered we'll check it out when we go to our list but i think the most important thing is to what have we been listening to this week where what have you been listening to <laughs> well i'm going to surprise y'all here with a couple weird things that i've been listening because oh, cool this is this is literally what i've been listening to very lately now the first thing is going to be a little odd this is goldfinger the soundtrack nice. from the james bond movie right now, number one, almost all of the James Bond movies, which were classically comp composed by John Barry, just fantastic music. It's just really great music to listen to. It's tough to get the original soundtracks to these to get all that music. A lot of times you'll buy James Bond soundtracks and it just has the hit songs as a compilation uh, of the music. But these is, this is where the real good music comes from. And the interesting thing about this is Shirley Bass Bassey is a jazz singer. She's the only singer ever to record more than one James Bond uh, theme song. And her vocals on Goldfinger are freaking phenomenal. Her and Tom Jones probably really showed off the pipes uh, wonderfully. But anyway, that's, that's one thing I'm listening to that's a little out of the... Uh, uh, getting back to more of the ordinary, I have the one step of Hotel California ah. that I've been listening to, and I've been trying to A, B it uh, to my uh, anniversary edition of Hotel California, and I got to tell you, the one step is is really magnificent, and of course, the music's great, and you know, the funny thing is, I've heard Hotel the song Hotel California a million times now. It's not that I'm tired of it. But it's the other songs on the album, like 12 Maids in a Row, you know, you know uh, 11 Maids in a Row, but uh, it was a bunch of Maids in a Row. <laughs> and those are the songs that really I love listening to now because they're out of the main path of what you hear on the radio all the time, over and over and over. The only other thing I'm just going to mention real quick is from our road trip uh, that we had our first two podcasts on – Three things that I picked up, I think I mentioned. Two Grateful Dead. Um, these are called Road Trips. They're a series, and they are impeccably, impeccably recorded. Great performances. And once again, some songs that you don't hear uh, as often with them. Well, they play for six hours at a time, right? So you almost hear every song. Yeah, right? <laughs> are those official releases? or, or... They are. These okay. are official releases, and wow. they're 
they're fantastic. It's a series. I don't know exactly how many they have, but I got volume one and volume two. And uh, I've been listening. It's fantastic. It sounds great. And then the other thing is uh, Bob Marley. Ah. Um, this is a remaster from, I think, 2004 uh, of um, Legend. And I got to tell you, I know it's on CD, but you listen to this and the sound pops. And it just makes my little Bose speakers with my computer sound wonderful. Yeah. I have to pop it into my home stereo and listen to it there. I can't even imagine how good, how nice it's going to sound, nice. but that's what I've been listening to. What about you? Nice Larry. Yeah. I've, yeah. um, I've taken a little bit of a, uh, a, l- a little change, uh, obviously from that. I, Deep purple has been, you know, what we've been concentrating on the most. Um, I have deep purple. Uh, this is the live in Amsterdam, 1969 FM broadcast. I bought this at the record show in Wilson. Uh, great show and a great record. 10 bucks is all I paid for that. Can't beat um, that. Yeah, but 1969, we're looking at Child in Time. Love that song. Yep. Um, it, and like I said, I uh, was telling you earlier, Paint It Black. Did a really good rendition of Paint It Black um, as well as Hush. You know, hey, can't beat. Deep Purple, 1969. Sounds great too. Good, good on vinyl. Uh, I don't even know if you can get it on CD. You might be able to. Yep. And then the other one, is the second release from ZZ Top. Uh, not a huge fan of ZZ Top. I mean, after like uh, Eliminator. Yeah, right? um, yeah. Drums got a little weird. Uh, this yeah. is actual good, deep uh, Texas blues. And um, if you get a chance to check this out, it is a, I believe this is 1973, uh, second release from ZZ Top. Definitely worth a listen. Outstanding on vinyl. Um, I actually, a little bit of a story, quick. On this one, I sold this to a guy at a record show, and then I missed it so much, I bought it back from the same guy. So, <laughs> from the same yeah. guy. And actually, he was cool. He sold it to me for the same price I sold it to him for. However, there was a uh, there was a concession. I had to sell him some Jimmy Buffett records. Um, so all right. anyway. anyway, that's what we're listening <laughs> to this week. Um, Larry and I have huge collections. We'll talk about them in another uh, uh, another uh, video and, and segment. For sure. and lots of good stuff. But let's get to actually what we wanted to talk about today. Yep. The most important thing is the record store day. Yep. Dude, I, I got to tell you, I'm making changes like by the minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've I've read a couple reviews of people, and I'm not sure they're supposed to, but people that have already listened to a couple of the entries uh, from Record Store Day. And uh, as an example, uh, there was one guy who was listening to the two Cannibal Adderleys. And although he thought the performance in both of them was wonderful, um, he thought that the sound quality on on uh, one of them, uh, I think was the Burning in Bordeaux, was a little less than stellar. Uh, mm-hmm. And the poppin' in Paris was uh, really, really much better of a recording quality. Now, personally, I just like Cannonball's playing. Uh, so I may reduce, depending on what else I get, uh, getting both to one. But if I don't get everything, maybe I'll still get them both. Uh, but the other thing is, to, to, to th- this is the most important thing with the Cannonball Adderley releases, mm-hmm. is they are both getting released on CD less than a week later so the 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 point i'm saying is if i get both cannibal adderby adderley's on vinyl it's 100 bucks if i buy them both on cd both of them will be about 40 bucks 40 41 42 dollars so that's a big difference you know and these are live concerts and if the recording isn't stellar maybe cd is is a decent approach to the uh, cannibal adderley here um, like I, you know, the Def Leppard that's on my list, um, that is a fairly recent recording and my hope is that it was recorded good. So I, am um, I want to get that on vinyl. I'm not looking to get that on CD. I like the fact that their first song on that album is Action, which is a cover of, uh, one of my favorite uh, sweet tunes. So, uh, I checked out the video of them performing it on YouTube uh, they really do it justice, and the group suite, Andy Scott, really loved the way Def Leppard, Def Leppard co- covered their songs. What about this America one? We skipped that one. What, yeah. um, 
This is on song. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I want to keep a keep an eye on it. I already have an America album live, and it's pretty mm-hmm. good. But I certainly don't need two. Uh, so you know, I'll check it out when we get there. But uh, that's probably not going to be something I I take away. Right. I will tell you that getting the retail price for these was not necessarily easy. I had to do a lot of searching. I think they kind of keep this stuff under wraps so that you actually go and you don't say, well, look, I, you know, and what we'll do is we'll add up what you're, what you're going to end up paying. Uh, and then don't, you know, we got taxes Scary. at seven and a half percent, right? Yeah. And then lunch, <laughs> we always have a breakfast or a lunch. So yeah. um, we may have to skip that in this case. It looks like it's going to be pretty big. Yeah. What about this yeah. Faces BBC? I, That's another exclusive. Yeah, I love the Faces, man. They are just they were just such a great group. And uh I'm I'm going to I'm going to gobble that puppy up if I can. Um yeah, Rod St- Rod Stewart has got one of the best rock and roll voices ever. He's got uh uh keyboards, guitar and bass players from the Stones uh in there. It's just they they were just fantastic, you know. And then now I know this one you are definitely in. The reason I turned it blue is because it was something on my list as well. Yep. But um, look, if there's only, uh, and I know you're a fool for the band there. I am. So um, I will say that if that, you know, because we're going together, if that particular one um, is only has one left, that is yours. So Listen, Todd, thank, first of all, thank you. I appreciate sure, it. Sure, man. Rod Price is one of my favorite slide guitarists ever, and his slide guitar takes front and center on this album. Now, looking at this next one, Larry, I'd, I'd like to give it a give it a spin. I know uh, Jorma was going towards a lot of new age music, but you know, there's a couple other guitarists that played with whatever they were doing and then went into new age, and they made new age better, you know, yeah. by having the talent that they they possess and bringing it in there. What about Richard O'Brien? This ho- Rocky Horror Show uh, demo yeah. tapes, interesting, yeah. right? I'm very excited about this. Also, <laughs> um, Richard O'Brien was the guy who wrote. He was the he wrote the play, the original play, Rocky Horror. He wrote yeah. the screenplay for the movie. He starred in it. He was a uh, riffraff. Uh, let's do the uh, time warp again. And look, number one, I'm not like a nut for the movie. Like I got to watch it a million times. However, it was freaking good. And it was it was very odd. How many science fiction slash musicals were there ever in the history of cinema? This is one of them. Meatloaf did a cameo in it. Did it sung a great song? Played saxophone in the in, in his song. It was really cool. I'm very much looking forward to this. And by the way, Richard O'Brien uh, also was in another movie, Flash Gordon. Okay, sweetheart yeah. of the rodeo. What about this? Yeah, that's 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 I gotta get. I got I gotta come away 70 with seventy bucks, Larry. Um, that's uh, you know um, a lot of stuff from the birds. It's, that's how these guys were put together, and yeah. this is just great stuff. If you like country music, you're gonna like this. If you like rock, you're gonna like this. If you like country rock, you're gonna like this. If you like the Eagles, you're gonna like this. Um, you're sure. looking at two LPs, seventy bucks. Yeah, it's expensive. Um, it is a little bit. Let me look real quick here and see uh, what the uh, recording for Cynthia album is. Impeccably mastered. Uh, press for the first time. Gatevolt cover. Again, doesn't say if it's analog or, or either, but uh, it seems like it's fine. Yeah, hey, you had me at impeccably. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, Record Store Day, Larry, if you think about it, I, and I remember Record Store Days from a, a long back. Yeah, it was always an event, man. They had bands, they had yeah. food. There was free giveaways, uh, and I think a lot of places still do that. They, they do. We go to it's just like just they open the doors, not they around stare us. at you dumb, and then you know <laughs> off you go. We're not in yeah. the hot spot of <laughs> yes, no. those events. Um, what about this? You got you got the CDs. Uh, yeah, you know about half price. Yep. Um, and I did see them. They were you know basically in the cardboard. Um, uh, cover, so it wasn't like they were in it. Yeah, they weren't. It wasn't anything special from what I saw yep. on yeah. some unboxings on the YouTube uh, record store YouTube videos. But I'm, yeah, what do you think? I'm a little, I'm a little torn on this one, Todd, because I'm not the biggest Doors fan uh, right. that ever lived. You know, I like some of their stuff. I, I really do. Uh, yeah. Now uh, I'll put both of these at yellow because uh, it might yeah. be that you just like, hey, you know, I, 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 I'm yeah. not too sure about. It. If I get everything else I want, I may not even buy the doors. I may not have enough money. <laughs> <laughs> Yusuf Latif. Now Yusuf again, Latif. this is in blue. It's showing that um, 
We both have this one. Uh, we may be fighting over this one, but there is 15. Yep. Yeah, 15 or not, not very much. And I'll tell right? you, as far as Yusuf Latif goes, if they have one copy, you can have that. Oh, because no, thanks, I, I am, I'm looking at a couple of other entries for Record Store Day um, that I just started thinking about, right? Um, one of them is live at CBGB's uh, by the Tragically Hip. They're a Canadian band, one of the biggest Canadian bands ever. And I've gotten very much into some Canadian bands. I have not heard anything by the Tragically Hip. I've heard a lot about them. 474.67, Larry. I mean, if you bought all of them. Yeah, well, if I buy all of them, I'm going to need a divorce lawyer, too. But that's, you know, <laughs> oh, boy. Well, let's try this. Then let's filter by color for the green ones. All right, yep. Larry, it looks like you're uh, you're going to be $237, maybe $250 with taxes in the hole. Yeah. Uh, at the yeah. end, then, you know, with lunch and stuff that we do, uh, yep. usually we take it pretty easy there. All right, taking a look at mine. I've got... Uh, yep. This is kind of messy. I looked at this Art Tatum, and I got to be honest with you. I really love it. I think this is going to be a great one. This is one that is a 3LP collection. Um, let me move this uh, here. It's 80 bucks, Larry. So, you know, yeah, that, hello. That, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I don't know. It's uh, It says here it's unissued. That's, um, that's more than 25 bucks a, a I, piece I of vinyl. You know, I'm going to put or uh, sorry, yellow on this one, Larry, yeah, just because yeah. it. Um, I agree. Yeah, it's an RSD first, so it's going to come out again. We may see. Maybe it, so. maybe if you don't get other things, maybe you just turn back to that. You know. Yeah, if that's left over, I'll certainly look at that. This one is out because you, Larry, have given me the CD copy of this. That's right, and I love it. So, um, <laughs> awesome. and I will tell you, it's probably just as good on CD. Um, the Chet Baker, look, I heard a really good, really good stuff about this. Uh, yeah. I did see a YouTube video where one of the, uh, one of the fellows had, had got this ahead of time, must own the record store. Yeah. He got it out. He, he can't say more about it. It's only 30 bucks. It's one LP. It is on 180 gram and, um, it's never been released before. I love the jazz detective. I think it is fantastic. Yeah. And it is from it is truly analog from the, the you, analog. You talked me into tapes. that one, Todd. You talked me into that one. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah. So yep. that's fifteen hundred copies. I think we'll both be able to uh to uh pounce on that one. So that would be cool. I'm going green. Uh fog hat, I'm gonna keep that blue because more than likely if there's not another copy, I'm just gonna make it yellow. They've never reissued this Gandalf. There actually there's one reissue, it was an unofficial reissue. Gandalf is a fantastic psych rock band. Uh, this album was, it, you know, it was one of those where it was in the dollar bin for years. And then somebody finally said, I love this. And it just, it, it grew legs. Um, nice. I'm definitely getting this one. I yep. believe that there's going to be a lot of other folks that feel the same way. Um, this Omar Sosa, you know, this is interesting. There's only 750 copies of this. It's an RSD first. Yeah. Um, I think this is stream. I can stream this when I streamed it to listen to it. I'm going yeah. to put that in yellow. Uh, okay. You know, it's 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 twenty three dollars. I, it's already available online. I don't feel like I need to put this on my on my sure. turntable sure. and you know have a have a moment. Now you skipped Waldron and Steve Lacey. I did, I did. So again, this is another great one. Uh, I also saw this on uh, another YouTube channel where the uh, this is the, now this is later in their career. So there are a couple of older fellows at this point, but. Um, it's all it's 180 gram vinyl. I'm gonna green it. <laughs> yeah. Uh Shelly Mann. Uh I love this one here. It's real to real. This is an all analog pressing. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh he's good. I, he's I know he's good. Good, I, I, good drummer. I'm gonna put this I'm I'm gonna put this one on my I got must have yeah. list. Yeah, I'm hoping it's fifteen hundred copies. We'll see. Yeah. So uh, Stephen Wilson. It's starting to get bad. I know you're going to want that too. I am. <laughs> I am. I'm at. Yes, I am. Uh, you know what? I. I this is a, some of his outtakes. Hey, look, a Stephen Wilson outtake is probably better sounding than most of the stuff on here. So right. <laughs> I, I'm good with it. This T Rex. It's a. It's a the Zeotrope uh, picture disc. This yep. is one of those where I think it's going to be sitting in the bin. I'll definitely see it. 
I am not married to the old idea, so I am going to yellow that. And Tesla reel to reel. Larry, you talked me out of this one. Thank you for doing that for various yep. reasons. Some yep. we won't discuss here. Yep. But one reason is the fact that it already exists today on CD. Absolutely. And uh, I really don't need it on, uh, on. Now, here we go. Amboy Dukes. Mm. Dude, I have this album. It's in fairly good condition. It's a, it's an OG original press, right? It's good stuff. This is an exceptional album. Highly recommend if uh, if you're into psych rock. It's got, of course, Ted Nugent's in there. Right. It's not Ted Nugent that we know, you know, the rock and crazy man yep. that we know. Yeah. Yeah, but it is the fact that it is Amboy Dukes and Ted's playing in it. But it is very, you know, sixties, um, like you know that sixty-seven to seventy psych rock, and every song on that album is phenomenal. I would love to hear it on some really good vinyl. So nice, kind of a, not a big pricey one either. So yeah. I'm for, definitely yeah. putting that one in, in the green category. That's gettable. Yeah. Uh, again, I like this. I'm getting into the psych a lot. Sixty-nine yes, to seventy-six. You, you sure are. 30 bucks. I think I'm going to go with that one. I yeah. feel that there will probably be a few of those available. And yeah. then we're both looking at Yusuf. I'm going to put it in yellow there because, look, I really want it, but I look at what I've got so far, right? Not yeah, as much as you, that's, but that's 50 uh, bucks. That's 50 bucks, right? So let's just go. Let's see what I, you know, I absolutely cannot live without. Uh, I will filter here by the green. I'll copy these down. And it's going to be. Geez, not far off from you, Larry. You're at 200. Oh, it's more than you. And then on top of that with taxes, we're looking at, yeah, uh, yeah 300, 300. You had that so, coming with what I spent on the road trip a couple weeks ago. That's right. <laughs> yeah, you definitely overspent. Now here I go, right? Yeah. So I'm going to have to right. sell off a couple pieces of furniture and uh, the cat. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> make up for it. I, this was a lot of fun, Larry. I yep, think that, absolutely. Uh, we get together again. Um, in our series of videos, we figured we'd start off with some of these favorite things and just kind of um, walk you through. We'll start doing introductions between me and Lair. You know, maybe show our street cred. I think we have a little. We've been listening to vinyl our whole lives. That's and I right. wouldn't say we're, uh, you know, spring chickens. So um, we'll, no, uh, we'll post not. this one up. Looking forward to some comments. I would like to hear how this goes. And uh, anything else that you would like to part with, Lair, before we uh, before we go, buddy? No, yeah, just say howdy. See yeah. y'all later. Howdy. See y'all later, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. Lair Thanks for watching. Out. Subscribe and like. Of course, that's a given. <laughs>